I had all my laptop battery packs delivered recently. Uh, I bought two packs of them off eBay. Uh, one had more in than the others, just so I had enough batteries to do this project with. Um, I'm estimating a loss rate, of course, from failed cells and also cells that haven't got very high capacity, so I needed to buy extras. Um, I'm just going to show you dismantling one of the packs. I've done this numerous times now, but um, this is the, the, the process for dismantling these packs. I'm just taking off the outer casing and snipping off the um, uh, the, the ribbon cables or the wiring between it and taking out the circuit board just so I can be left with some bare cells. Um, I've done this so many times now it's uh, starting to get a little bit boring but this is the final pack now. Um, the packs I bought I ended up getting were mainly genuine ones. This one is a HP. I've had loads of these and uh, lots of other genuine ones which was nice. I didn't really want too many pattern part ones because I the cell quality might have been a bit dodgy but um, these have been I found mostly um, Panasonic, Sony, uh, some, some Sanyo, plenty of Samsung uh, cells which have been pretty good and for the most part they've given me pretty good capacity even though they're used. You want to be quite careful when you're levering out the cells from the bottom of the pack like this. Some of them have got a lot more uh, sticky glue in them than others um, and you don't want to be puncturing the cell. Uh, I've been using um, this screwdriver because it's only got the sharp end of this bit here, the rest of it's sort of plastic and shielded. Um, trying to lever very gently and slowly upwards. I have managed um, considering I've taken apart probably about 60 laptop back battery packs now, I have managed about once or maybe twice to uh, let a little spark out of them where I've touched something wrong. But nothing happened happily. Nothing more than that. Just be careful. They hold quite a lot of amps. Now I've been um, uh, just flattening down the um, tabs on these once I've ended up dismantling them like this. I didn't want them all spiky so I've just been tapping them flat. For the most part I try to leave these protection uh, sort of discs on the positive end. Um, I don't want to end up nicking the plastic surround and then end up shorting the negative body of the cell, the body's negative and the very end, the top cap there is a positive end. So I've just been flattening these down to make them a little bit less spiky. These uh, little tabs are very sharp when you're cutting them off. And there we have uh, three packs of uh, two cells in parallel, pos to pos, neg to neg across there. So that will be building up the amp hours be twice the amp hours of each one of these cells there but still at the same voltage and then you put the cells in parallel like that when it's built up inside of the pack to get up to the correct voltage that this laptop needed somewhere around the sort of 10 11 12 volt mark so I'm just going to check the uh, volts of these now straight out of the pack hopefully you can see that all right is useless. I've ordered another one, a better one, it's on its way. 3.54, 3.49, 
3.53 so those are pretty good results to be honest I've had a lot of the sales out of these packs come out at practically zero um, and I'll be charging them up very slowly on the nickel metal hydride setting at about 100 milliamps on the IMAX B6 um, to slowly bring them up see if I can get them uh, recovered but lots of them also have been around about the 3 amp over mark and these ones here are over that so they're discharged in terms of what the battery pack would say when it's plugged into the laptop that's fine but the amps and uh, the cells are nowhere near low enough to be a problem um, so these should recover quite well uh, and these cells are oh yeah not much branding on these ones funny enough oh, we got... oh they're Sanyo okay these are Sanyo cells um, I've had lots of other uh, types as well so they there should be able to be recovered no problem at all and I've been doing some recovery for other ones already I've been, uh, here's just a selection, this is a very small selection of what I've been doing so far. And those are some Samsung cells. I think they say they're rated at, yeah, it's, it says it, the model number is a 26C, you can see on the left, it's upside down, sorry. Um, so I, I believe, I looked at the data sheet online, it's supposed to be a 2600 milliamp hour, of course these are used. Um, and all of the numbers that you see here are discharging at 1 amp and down to 3 volts. If you discharge further, you'll get more amps hours out of them, more amps out of them. Um, I don't know which brand these are, possibly Panasonic, but these have been my best so far, consistently over two amps, or just over in this case here. Uh, these are some other Samsung cells of a slightly lower capacity. Uh, these are some Sony cells, again been pretty good. I don't know which brand these are, but they've been these have been consistently pretty decent, sort of 17, 1800 apart from a few. And this is an example of a lower one. Um, I believe it's an LG cell. Yeah, yeah, that's the cell it is there. And I've got quite a lot of these in it from the other packs. That's just come up at 1,200, which is pretty low. So that's the reason I've bought multiple packs to try and get the best out of them first. And I'll select, obviously, from the best first to make up my battery pack for the bike. Um, and then I'll be left with these at the end. And hopefully I won't need to use too many of them. And those are the old ones that I was testing uh, a little while ago. So uh, that's dismantling a pack, that's harvesting the cells from them and uh, I'm still in the process and it's going to take me a long time to go through and measure the capacity of all of these cells.